Hi, my name is Nate McCullough on behalf of expertvillage.com. In this clip, we're going to talk about one of the items involved in a major tune-up or vehicle overhaul. The item we're going to discuss in this clip is the vehicle's distributor cap. The distributor cap on this particular car is located right here, top and center. It's going to vary from manufacturer to manufacturer in several ways, location, mounting style, and number of cylinders. This happens to be a four cylinder, so there's five wires. One for each cylinder and one for the ignition coil. We're going to go ahead and start unplugging them. You're going to want to note and label these as you unplug them to make sure there's no confusion during reinstallation. This is the ignition coil. I'm going to pop that one off and get him out of our way. There's only one slide he goes. I'll remove this plug wire. Remove this plug wire. Remove this plug wire. And remove this plug wire. This vehicle uses screws to mount one on top and one on the bottom. Go ahead and unscrew it. If the screws aren't molded to stay in, you're going to want to pull them out and set them on a magnetic tray or put them in your pocket. These are made to stay in so you don't have to worry about dropping or losing one. There's one more screw on the bottom. It looks just like the top one. Go ahead and pop your distributor cap off. Just for the sake of discussion, we're going to assume that I'm replacing this with a new part. The installation procedure is pretty much reverse disassembly procedure. We're going to slide our new distributor cap on. Run our screws back down or reattach our bolts or clips, whatever happens to be the particular mounting style for your vehicle. It's a good idea not to over tighten these screws. Once you got the screws run down, you're going to want to hook up your vehicle's ignition cables. This one right here is number one cylinder. We'll plug that one into the corresponding spot on my ignition coil, um, or distributor cap for that matter. It's going to vary from make to model, depending upon how your car was built and designed. This one right here is number two. I'm going to plug him in right there in his corresponding location. This one right here is number three. Plug that into its corresponding location. This one right here is number four. Put them on his corresponding location. And our ignition coil. There you go. That's a one, two, three on remove and replace your distributor cap. 